Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea. You know that. Let's get into it. Today I have a video that is just, you know, just a, a weird one for sure. I wanted to react to this one and kind of mirror how this person is in this video, it would have been such a hassle to move everything into my bathroom and my bathroom is really small. And I don't want to do that. I would rather, you know, be a little bit more professional. Listen, I know it's a little bit crazy over here. I know we get wild. I know, you know, we're not the most professional setup ever, but I'm not trying to do a video in my bathtub. Or am I? No, I'm not. But this person is. We do match kind of those. Like, this is just so weird. <laughs> All right. We are reacting to Jesse Lee Ward doing a training fully clothed with a face mask on in a bathtub. Yes. I I know. I just, I don't know. Okay. Everybody, what's going on? It's Jesse Lee, Cody Mosley, and it is tummy time. Oh, uh, we are four seconds into this and my eardrums just burst. Good God. Ethan, I'm going to need you to try to equalize. Going to need you to Denzel Washington equalizer this shit. Okay. Because good God. <sighs> Her hoodie says pumped by ketones and it's a, it's a heart. So like her heart is being pumped by ketones. Mine says Nassau Bahamas. <laughs> hey, Mosley, and it is tummy time. <laughs> okay, I really wanted to get in the bathtub and like OG Jesse Lee's know what's happening. OG Jesse Lee followers know exactly what's happening right now. You can drop a one more opportunity live. You can drop... <laughs> A two if you are catching a replay, and then if you are like, what is happening right now? You can drop a look. There we go. Lauren says, oh my God, I missed tubby time. <laughs> I was like, I'm so stressed out. Like I'm taking my makeup off. Okay. And I am, the bath bomb is already dissolved. Do I need like another one? It really was pretty light, wasn't it? I am so stressed out. So I'm going to get in the bathtub fully clothed and do a training and scream at my phone or laptop or whatever. You could just not do that and you could just actually relax and just sit there. It looks like she's naked on the bottom, but she's not. She has like spandex shorts on. But why you gotta wear a hoodie in the, I don't know. I'll do a whole other bath bomb, don't worry. Um, Drop a tub in the comments. I'm gonna teach you how to sell tonight, I swear to God, okay? Now, by the way, also on top of all of this, what you're going to do is there's a share contest going on on Facebook. I don't care if you prefer to watch on TikTok or Instagram, just jump to Facebook, share it as many times as you want. And then um, at, on Saturday, we're gonna do a big giveaway, all right? So this is Tommy Chad, baby! Woo! I am fully dressed, I have shorts on, okay? But uh, so, so don't worry about me. First of all, number one tip, number one tip, if you are going to sell more, if you wanna sell more, drop the word sell in the comments below. Drop the word sell in the comments below. So far, only people on Instagram know what this is, which is crazy because I only used to do it on Facebook. So just shows you the day and age we're in, people. I love tattoos. I do. I'm gonna get many more. I have four. That rhymed. I love them so much. My husband has like eight or nine, seven? Every time I see <laughs> my tattoo artist, who is amazing, his Instagram is the news. I will link him down below. He's absolutely so talented. Whenever I see him posting on Instagram, I'm like, God damn it, I gotta get more. I've known him since high school. He's extremely talented, and it just makes me so excited that he's like very successful. He's arguably one of the best tattoo artists and like most well known ones in Tampa. He does such delicate work. See, there's Bernard the B. Focus on Bernard. There's Bernard the Bee. Amazing. Having said that, just this like leg sleeve situation. Uh-uh. No, thank you. Not my style. Clearly, I'm more into like dainty tattoos and not a loud, obnoxious, full leg sleeve. But you know, me and Jesse Lee are very different types of people. So I do videos sitting in my office. She does videos screaming in a bathtub. The day and age we're in people, okay? Okay, okay. This is not the wild side of Jesse Lee, okay? I don't do weird stuff in the tub. All right, number one tip, you've got to understand your market. Write it down, you've got to understand your market. You cannot be an effective salesperson if you do not know who you are selling to, if you do not know what you are selling about, if you don't know the landscape of selling, what is happening in the market with these people, if you don't know the first thing about them, if you don't know what makes your people tick. If you don't know what your people need, you're not going to have a good time selling, okay? It's just literally not possible. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth right now, okay? Like, what does the daily life of a prospect of yours look like? 
You know, like what does the daily life of a prospect of yours look like? What do that? I am a whole ass mood, aren't I? <laughs> it's going to be a good training. So keep, keep on sharing. Let's go. What does a day in the life look like when your prospects or what are the issues that they face, right? Like what are common things that they have problems with, right? Thank you for following. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate you, right? What could make their life easier? Like right now, um, I have, this is true. I have like sensey little, like I have like, I, I'm, I look, I had a stressful day. So thank God someone from Unique sent me this face mask so I can chill. Okay. Thank God I have bath bombs in here. The bath bomb was from Pomifera and it smells freaking lovely in here. All right. It sounds freak. It smells lovely. I have a stressful life. If you were trying to sell something to me, how can you lower my stress levels? Right. How can you, I don't think she's buying these things though. Like people just send them to her. It doesn't seem like she, from, from anything I've seen from her, the way she phrases like, Oh, they sent me this, not I bought this from them or, like with the makeup that people send her from Unique or Lime Life or any other like saint, something like that, right? It doesn't seem like she actually buys it herself. It seems like, like I said, that she just gets it sent to her, which is interesting. Listen, I can appreciate like the dedication to the whole facade of like network marketing, but those products are not good. Like girl, your face is going to fall off if you keep using that levels, right? How can you help me out and make my life a little bit easier? All right. What are other things that are useful? I don't know. I obviously always need lighting systems. I always, obviously my hair looks a whole, a whole vibe right now. Okay. Like I obviously always need probably chargers. What are things I need? Very easy to sell to people when you know what they need. And remember the training I did on sales before that you were sharing, you are selling solutions to a problem. TikTok loves tubby time. Thanks for following. Oh my God. Ah, yes, tubby time is back, tubby time is back. <laughs> okay, so you make sense though, right? This is a professional. If that's your vibe, if that's your brand is to do videos in your tub, go for it. But I don't think that's what her brand is. I mean, honestly, her brand is fucking chaotic, so... I guess this is her brand. Never mind. The shit that she says as well, like the, I'm going to teach you how to sell. You have to, you know, you have to solve problems. You have to have a solution. You have to provide people with solutions and know what their problem is and know what they're in need of and, you know, know who your prospect is and who your actual customer is and what they need. Absolutely. The most basic stuff. It's like she's reading off like a wiki how. It's just not like revolutionary information. And that's how she presents it. Did y'all also know? That she charges allegedly over a thousand dollars for like a one on one training consultation type thing. For what? A thousand dollars. And let me guess, it's probably the same regurgitated absolute tomfoolery that she is spewing in this bathtub. Because once you understand the pain points of your prospects, you can solve the problem. You can use your products and your services to solve the problem. Then you start to know like what the competitive landscape looks like. Is Jesse Lee going to come on, come into a bathtub and sell you ketones? I just might. Okay, I just might. I wonder if this is echoing throughout this entire building and people are going to be like very alarmed. Oh, well, not my problem. Let's go. Okay. So understand and pay attention to how your, I, I, talk, I talked this the other day, understand how your competition pitches and sells. Understand how your, your competition uh, markets. I said, if you sell hair care, I would be following Lange. Okay. If I'm selling uh, health and wellness, I'm going to start following marketing plans of the giant conglomerates, right? I want to know what they're doing, people. Okay, you've never seen Tubby Time fully clothed in a bathtub. like Yeah, but in an MLM, that's not really what your focus is. It's recruiting. And she's always said that no matter what MLM she's in, which she's been in quite a lot of them, it's all about recruiting. It's not about actually selling the product. So I think that's why she's kind of like being a little bit vague with the like solution to a problem. They want money. They want freedom. They want more time with their kids. Okay, then I'm gonna try to sell them that. Like it's just so gross. I can't wait till I have a like a big ass freestanding tub though. Oh my God. I'm fully clothed in a bathtub. Like it's like a whole vibe. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm very I'm amazing to follow. All right. I'm amazing to follow. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, examine the competition and then be a little bit different.
a little bit different. So understand your market and a little bit. Examine the competition. Everyone in an MLM, if you're in that same MLM, is your competition. Let's get that clear. And then be a little bit different. What you teach is people to do the exact same thing that you do. It's repetition. That's all it is. So it's not being a little bit different. Like you want people to do exactly what you do and be exactly like you. You're just making clones of yourself. I was watching The Way Down, the part two, like series, because they it's on HBO Max. It's amazing. It's produced by some absolutely so talented, amazing people in the industry and Chrissy Teigen too, which is pretty cool. But it's about a cult, a church that actually like it started as a like weight loss clinic. And then it started like then they became a church. Wild, absolutely wild. The first episodes, I think it was four of them or maybe just three that came out in September of last year. And then now like the second set of episodes just came out. And now since, you know, the first part came out, they're having a lot more people come out. They were able to include that in the second half of the docuseries. And one of them said, she's like, yeah, I saw on Twitter or on social media, whatever. People saw pictures of her, Gwen Shamblin, the leader of the cult, who is deceased now. I never want to wish death on, death on anyone, but thank fucking God. All the main leaders of that church are gone. The cult is still going. It's just crazy because a lot of people were like, look at this bitch. Like, how do you follow her? How like how do you see this? And you're like, I want to follow that. And like, how dumb are you? Or like, and that's something that really hit hard with me because I was like, sometimes I say that and I shouldn't say that. You know, I shouldn't be like, how do people fall for this? Like, how do you be? How can you be so dumb? Like, just think about it. No one joins a cult. No one joins a scam, a pyramid scheme, right? Even many times, literally fucking watching this right now, I'm like, how, how, how do people like this person? How do people watch her and they're like, I want to join under her. How is this appealing to anybody? And it is because they get you when you are not at a great point in your life when you are at that low point when something is missing and you are so desperate and so hopeful and want it so bad you want to fill that hole (laughs) gross shouldn't have said that (laughs) you want to fill that aspect that missing piece you want to find that missing puzzle piece and they frame it to you when they're pitching it to you that this is the perfect missing puzzle piece and it'll be perfect and it's just wonderful oh i miss doing puzzles if y'all want to send me puzzles bitch send me puzzles definitely watch the way down it is so 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 good and a little bit different you get it? You got it? Good. All right. Next thing, the view from TikTok's good. I love it. Next thing, if you want to sell more, if you want to sell more, drop the word sell in the comments, make sure you share and follow wherever you're watching. Focus on the right leads. I just trained our team about this tonight. I said, too many of you are so focused on the wrong people. Okay. Well, I did during book club. I'm like, too many of you are so worried about the people who are telling you no, and you're trying to sell them harder instead of focusing on all the people who want your product and service. I am so focused on finding new prospects. I am so full. You don't want what I sell? Great. You don't want to do business with me? Great. You don't want to make a million dollars a year? Great. You, I, that's fine. But- no one on her team makes a million dollars a year. So interesting that she just said that. I have it on good authority that no one on her team makes that much money. And that's why she's fucking flailing right now. Also, allegedly in iGenius, the person that they signed up under, the guy that like Jesse Lee's obsessed with, he's like boinking everyone on his team from from what multiple people have said that are on his team. And it is one that's so inappropriate and so creepy. But also like Jesse Lee's boinking him too, which she has even said. Oh, also before we keep going, when she gets closer to the camera, her face mask looks like it's just cream cheese on her face. And now I want a bagel. Many people who want to. All right, there are so many people who want to. I feel like this tub has like nothing color in it. Like I'm gonna, I need to put some color in here. It's looking like I'm just sitting in bath water, which is not the case. Okay, I actually have a bath bomb in here, but it's like it looks like I'm just sitting in bath water. Yeah, no shit, Jesse Lee, that's what you're doing. It's because you're in the bathtub. Then it'll at least look. I probably just way too much. Whatever. Now it's got some color to it. Not really. Now it looks like dirty water. Great, I've ruined it. It's fine. Smells great though. Now, all right, focus on the right leads. So <clears throat> understand what makes a good fit for your company, a good fit for your product, a good fit for your service. Thank you for sharing over here on Facebook. That's where the competition is, okay? Don't waste your time on people who aren't going to become customers. So many of you, I swear, you beg, you borrow, you basically steal their time and your precious energy trying to convince people who told you no. Now it, looks, it does look dirty, okay? you. I don't even care anymore. Like, I, I am so focused <laughs> I am so focused on finding the right people. If I'm not for you, that's fine. But if I am for you, you should be following me. 
right? Set the bag behind so people know. I got a whole other extra bag though. Here we go. Now it's turned into a Scentsy advertisement. I don't even sell it, but what are you going to do about it? Now it smells great. Okay, so focus on the right leads because when you focus on the right leads, honest to God, you will have you will have people with less questions, okay? You will have people who want to buy more. You will have people who are loyal to you. You will have people who have a long-term, uh, high, high, high customer lifetime value, which is really what you're going for. So if you're focusing on the people who are best served by you and your solutions, <laughs> bada bing, a bada boom, a tubby time, you can close with customers like this. But how do you find those people and how do you attract those people? Like, I feel like that's, that's the problem that people are having. And the information that she's giving is not valuable at all. It's, it's, this is very frustrating because it's like, yeah, no shit, Jesse Lee. If this is entertaining. Let me know. This is kind of cold. Like, I didn't make the water high enough. Damn. Okay. So, look, you, that way you're also spending less time selling to them because they're already your people. You understand? Much higher probability of closing them much higher probability of closing them. Just make sure your timing is right. Make sure that they are ready for the, the, the problem that you are going to solve, okay? I serve you just by showing up. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it's cold, it's a little cold in here. Okay, okay. All right, next, make sure you are leveraging your follow-up, okay? I am a big fan of following up with my customers. So do you have, uh, do you have, a, uh, uh, you have, do you have a customer list? Okay. Do you have uh, your customer's phone numbers? Do you have some kind of texting service? Do you have some kind of email follow-up? What do you have going on? Because if you don't have something like that, you're going to have a difficult time selling. You need to follow up with people by leveraging the information that you have. Do you even know what your customers purchased so you can follow up appropriately with what they bought before, the service they used before, the product they used before, whatever it is before? You understand? You have to leverage the information that you actually have. Too many of us do not leverage, thank you for following, the information that you already have. And then we just don't follow up enough. Somebody basically tells, and look, I get lost in the sauce too, especially my DMs, because my DMs are crazy, probably because I get fully dressed in a tub, all right? Look how glistening my lip. My lips are so oppressively white, good God. Okay, but anyway... Anyway, all I'm trying to say is make sure you're following up with people. I'm glad I cracked you guys up. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Kate, I'll save it. Yeah, I'll save you. Come bathe with me whenever you feel like it. Next, next, understand that selling is a team sport. Do you have a sales team? Do you have selling people in your organization with network marketing? Or do you have uh, resources from your company that you can utilize and leverage? Come on. Do you think she ever, and I mean this in the nicest way possible, do you think she ever just like shuts up? I would like her to do that now. Hey, I get it. When you're on camera, you got to be on. Like when I film, I have to like feel it. I have to have the energy to film and sit here and, you know, be entertaining and get out these jokes, this grade A comedy. She does this constantly. She's always on live. She's always, on, you know, posting Zoom calls and just, this has got to be so draining and exhausting. I wonder if it, and this is about to get morbid, I wonder if it makes like, how can I phrase this so it doesn't sound absolutely horrible? I wonder if acting like this is like shaving years off her life, you know? Is that crazy to say? Probably. I don't know. This is weird. She said multiple times that like, this is not her. But then I'm confused because then when she, at the times when she's like, no, you're getting Jesse Lee, you're not getting Boss Lee right now. It's like, well, that one's equally as annoying. So I think it's the same person and you're just annoying. Come on. Your marketing team helps the sales team. Write it down. I've done all these marketing trainings. Go watch my stuff. Go listen to my podcast. Follow me everywhere. Your marketing team helps your sales team. These two work in congruence with each other. You need friends. Your marketing teams and your sales teams are allies, not enemies. And I see it too often. Too many people are like, mm, I don't want to use that marketing. Mm, that promo. Mm, 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 mm. That's, that's just crazy. They, they are allies. They are allies. They work together. So your sales team, your marketing team should work together. So you work as individuals, then you hit big team sales goals. It's almost the first of the month or it's almost the first of the month. It's like the second of the month. So it is almost the first of the month. All right. It's almost the first of the month. Great time to get with your sales team and say, hey, what are your sales goals? Hey, how many boxes are you going to sell? Hey, how many services are you going to sell? Hey, how many recruits are you going to get? Hey, how much church? Like, come on. You gotta set these goals. She's acting like it's like a corporate sales job. Like you're a sales manager. You're not. I hate to break it to you, girl. You're not. But I mean, that's how she's like treating it. And I feel like that's just not accurate. Work together. And then quite frankly, every time you make a decision, prioritize those customers. All right? Prioritize those customers. 
prioritize the overall team. Also, it has been alleged to me, I'm not stating this is truth, it has just been alleged to me from multiple other sources that people on her team, you know how they like do live streams when they're like packing trials? So dumb. That they like pack fake they like play pretend because their orders are down or whatever. So they'll like pretend like they're packing up orders and stuff to like fake it till you make it. That is so dumb. That should be a huge red flag for you. But of course, we all don't always see red flags because sometimes we have unrose colored glasses and all the flags just look like flags. They don't look like red flags. Why I sell so much. I sell so much because I care so much about the customers. I care so much about our team winning. I put out content to help our team win, period. When our team wins, I win. So I'm the last one I think of. You understand? I'm the last one I think of. Girl, you are the first person you think of. That's how it works in an MLM. You only want other people to do well so that you do well. Allegedly, they have ghost accounts to where they order their stuff from there so that they get credit for it, but then also you do. And it counts as retail sales. Imagine being this just delusional. It's a sales training, man. If you like sales, drop sales in the comments below. Okay, okay, I love it. All right, let's keep going. Thank you for the shares of tubby time. Shares of tubby time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see what's happening over here. I literally just showered. I've been needing this. Ha ha, you're the best, you're the best. I love it. All right, now, you want to sell more. What's going on in this tub? I don't know, man. Y'all enjoying this? You get some knowledge in your brain. I'm speaking your language, Pam says. I guess I just needed to get in a tub again, and now y'all, how many tattoos do I have? I don't know. Does it count as one, or does it count as... I don't know, whatever the answer is to that. Know your data. Data doesn't lie, okay? So knowing your numbers is so important. If you've ever watched Shark Tank, what do they always say? What are your numbers? What are your numbers? What are your numbers? You need to know your numbers or else you can't close a sale. It's just not possible. You have to know your numbers or you can't close a sale. You need to know everything possible that you know. You need to know your metrics. You need to know what your average sale is. You need to know, uh, you, you just need to know. You need to know your metrics. Okay, I know how much the average customer order is. I know how much my average customer spend. I knew what the average was going to be when I put the boss lead bundle in the link in my bio and I said, go customize your bundle. I knew how much most of you were going to spend. I know. I know what my average customer buys. Okay, so then I knew how much product you need to have in stock. So I knew how long it was going to take to deplete my stock. I knew all of this data. Data doesn't lie. Numbers are important. You want to sell more, you need to know more. All right. Yeah, tell me how's back. Tell me how's back. Tell me how's back. Thank you for following. Thank you for following. Thank you for following. Well, any of you can do it. I just, I like tummy time, man. It feels good in here. It smells great now, too. Even though the water looks dirty, it's not. I put some bubbles and stuff in it, and the bubbles went away. So, what am I going to do about it? All right, look. But numbers are really important. Okay. Numbers are important when it comes to sales. So, it's weird that she's saying that she needs inventory because. Like, why do you? They can just order from the website. Like, she goes back and forth and says things like, oh, well, you don't have to have inventory. Then why do you? Like, why do you have inventory? Why don't you just have them buy from the Prove It site? Also, apparently people on her team pay more for trials so that she makes more money. That's some bullshit. That's insane. You need to know what people like to upsell. You need to know what goes congruent with something else. So you can cross sell, you can upsell, you can do, you can, you can use, you, you get the point. What the heck am I saying? All right. If that's useful, drop a flame in the comments below. I just want to see because I can, I can, I can see all the comments kind of, but like I can see emojis very clearly. I love you guys too, because you're hungry for success. Hell yeah. I'm hungry for success. success. This is all just engagement. Like there, and I also think the reason why she's doing it in the tub is just all for engagement. And as an influencer, as a content creator, there's no shame in that but that's why i can't stand when they're like drop a blank in the comments do this in the comments blah, blah blah and yeah i'll do that sometimes like making fun of them but it's just it's so lazy so i'll ask like y'all a question and it's actually a conversation it's not just like lazy grab for engagement but that's what they do because they want more comments and they want more engagement on their posts and then that way they think that the algorithm will see that that's happening and push out their stuff and it's just lazy and i don't like it and yeah because you're hungry for success hell yeah i'm hungry for success let's go, success let's go by the way speaking of, like my mouth uh surgery's good my stitches are currently coming out right now but you know what i ran out of hot water that's why it's kind of cold so i don't have any hot water to put in here but good idea organically ashley wasn't she supposed to move into a penthouse like a million dollar penthouse wasn't she supposed to do that what happened what happened to that jesse lee what happened all right let's go next Next, next, next. All right, I can see all those flames now. Yeah. Okay. No, next tip. If you want to sell more, you already have a page full of notes. That's the kind of energy I'm looking for. 
Really listen to your prospects. I might do more of these. Why? Because you're responding so aggressively right now. The views, there's over there's 100 people watching on TikTok. There's, I, I, can't, I, mean, I, I, gotta, I can't see on YouTube. I can't see on Facebook. And I can see 130 uh, live right now on Instagram. And then God knows how many shares will happen. Like, I, I do have good eyesight. I know. I'm like a bird. I'm like an eagle over here. Okay? Like, I... I know you're responding to this. I've told you time and time again to do weird things on the internet and people will watch you. Okay, so I don't know why they look perfect. Well, you're not perfect, so quit trying to look perfect. Really listen to your prospects. All right, you know this is a modern day and age. This is a modern sales team. These are modern, this is, you know, what modern modern times cause call for modern solutions, all right? I mean, listen, I'm not I'm not gonna knock her for that. I mean, it it is true. Sometimes you gotta do weird shit to get engagement or to make sure that people are still watching you and stuff. But I mean shit, I made a post saying that I'm gonna get a pepper tattoo probably on my butt when I hit a hundred thousand subscribers and I'm going to do it. It is happening. It's going to be so fucking cute. It's not going to be a pepper shaker because that would look stupid. It's going to be like a little chili pepper. I'm very excited about it. And, you know, I'll probably make a video about it. And that's, you know, like weird and crazy. So people are probably going to watch it. But it's weird because like she doesn't make money off of her content. So that's where I see the difference, right? I mean, and technically, yes, she does because she gets paid for reels and stuff like that. But her content isn't what makes money opposed to content creators and influencers, right? What makes her money is recruiting people. So that's why it's kind of like icky with her like marketing tactics, how she's like doing all these crazy things to pull people in and then getting them to sign up for the MLM. I don't know. It's icky and I don't like it. Well, watch you. Okay. So I don't know why they look perfect. Well, you're not perfect. So quit trying to look perfect. Really listen to your prospects. All right, you know this is a modern day and age. This is a modern sales team. These are modern, this is, you know, what modern modern times cause call for modern solutions, all right? So when you want to be an effective salesperson, you need to listen to your prospects, all right? Instead of being self-centered and saying, oh, they need this, they need this, would you listen to what they say? Maybe they're telling you a flavor they want. Maybe they're telling you a scent they want. Maybe they're telling you a product they want. Like, and you got to respond fast. Coming from the person who blocks people <laughs> on her own team, literally blocks them, but still makes money off of them because they're still on her team. Especially if you own the company, okay? Especially if you own the company, it's amazing. Why did it take all you companies so long to come out with collagen? It took like, oh, there's a collagen craze now. Nah, homie, like the collagen has been a big ingredient for like seven years, but you're just catching up because you weren't listening to your prospects. You weren't listening to the people who said, we want collagen, it's anti-aging. Nobody wants to be old. And if you would look at the statistics back to the data, men care more about anti-aging now more than ever. Men care more than ever now. Men on here, don't lie. I almost bought a med spa. Almost bought a med spa. The amount of men sneaking up in there, getting your Botox, acting like your Brotox. Put Brotox in the comments. The Brotox. Y'all think I don't know? Yeah. Oh, just like a little bit. Just like a little bit. We know, Rinkelstein. All right, we know. Now fix your hairline next, okay? Fix your hairline next, all right? Go get some stem cells. Chill with yourself, all right? Like, no one wants to get old. You should have known about collagen. Now you got people trying to play catch up. <laughs> all the protoxes. Now you got all these people trying to play catch up. Who are you talking to? Also, I know a lot of guys who care about their appearance and are like taking care of themselves and I know a lot of guys who get Botox. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with injectables in general. Who is she talking to? People who own MLMs? What MLM owners are watching her in a bathtub? Like, Jesse Lee, who do you think is watching this? Trying to play catch up with anti-aging, catch up with collagen. There's already new ingredients coming out. You have to pay attention to what people say. It's like, if you want to run a sales team that actually works, it's a relationship. Okay? I know what flavors, as an example, my customers want. I know exactly what they're looking for. I'm paying attention to when they say, this is the problem that I need solved. And then I go and I solve the solution. Some of you are really out there selling supplements that taste terrible. It's a problem, right? Listen to your customers. They're not going to renew their auto ship orders if everything tastes like garbage. Okay? Like, I need you to think about this. And you can think about this. You need to listen, listen, listen. You have two ears and one mouth. For a reason, okay? And especially with social media, you wonder what one of the smartest things you can do is. But most people who are in MLMs don't have any say over the products at all. What are you talking about? You're making no sense. Especially with social media, you wonder what one of the smartest things you can do is. One of the smartest things you can do on social media is read the comment section. Women do this, men don't. Watch this. If you're a woman, do you read the comment section? It is comfortable. I like this. This is a vibe. If you're a woman, do you read comment sections? Yes, always. Yes. 
Yes. Yeah, because most of y'all don't have any fucking comments. <laughs> It's not from people from outside of their organization. It's people within their own team or organization. That doesn't help you. I mean, sure, it helps your engagement or give the facade that you actually have engagement. It doesn't help you. Also, at a certain point, you can't look at the comments anymore. I'm getting to the point where I'm like, nope, will not look at them. Can be detrimental to you. Absolutely. Yes, it's dummy time. <laughs> Robin, yes. Gwendolyn, yes. Uh, Carrie, always. Jovia, yes. Jessica, yes, 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 yes. Do you know who doesn't read comments? Is it men? Because you just said that men don't. <laughs> Spend a lot of time with those those things. Men don't look at comment sections. Like not on their own stuff necessarily, but like women like to do research. So if you see somebody with a, like, let's say I was selling this face mask. I'm going to give you an example, okay? I would not necessarily ask you what the face mask is, okay? I wouldn't, I don't sell a face mask, by the way, okay? I I might not message, I might not comment, me personally, and say, what's the face mask? But what I will do is I will go to the comment section, I will look to see what it is, and then I will look for what people said in the comment section. It's like live reviews, okay? It's like live reviews. That's what women are doing. First of all, no one wants your cottage cheese mask or your cream cheese mask. But also when all the people who are also in the MLM are the only other people who are in the comment section, that doesn't count. That's not a good representation of a place to get your reviews. Like it's not going to be unbiased. Before I buy something, I do want to look up reviews. I want to see ones that are unbiased. And a lot of the times they will delete comments that are not in favor of the product or in favor of the MLM. So if you have a sales team, okay, and the person is saying something like, Mm, oh, you know, I got I got left in the dust. There was no training. There was no support. The CEO was a real D bag. Whatever. You're getting all the solutions to all the problems. Utilize the information that people are giving you. You can solve problems. You can sell more. You can fix more. People say, "Hey, I've been dying. I've been dying for a for for an energy drink that tastes like cherry lime." And people keep saying it over and over and over again. And you're not doing it. You're hurting yourself. If people say, "I want something that's what," you get the point. You're, that, that's, that's straight up data, right? And you're going to build trust from people if you respond to that. My bubbles, man, I don't know. I didn't have a, I didn't have bubbles. I only had, uh, um, what is it? I like, well, now it looks like slimy and weird in here. It's like turning colors in my tub. Damn it. Damn it. Whatever. Okay. Um, I put this like stuff in here, but it didn't, it didn't turn it colors. It just turned it kind of. Why is the Scentsy product that you put in your bathtub making it slimy and weird in your bathtub? Probably because it's an MLM product and it's garbage. It's like stuff in here, but it didn't, it didn't turn it colors. It just turned it kind of brown. <laughs> I got a problem in here. All right. Okay. Next. You've got to build trust through education. I, uh, and this, I hope you see is all I do. Okay, there's a bath bomb in it. It's just looks like lavender. Look, I love y'all. My entire business model, basically, it's not dirty water, y'all. It's clean water. It just looks dirty. <laughs> I put these little soaks in it, and the soaks turned it like off white. <laughs> so I look like I'm sitting in schmutz. I'm not. Don't worry. Okay, look, look. I built my entire sales team, which we sold $13 million last month. All right. $13 million was sold. So I kind of know what I'm talking about. All right. Just like, hello, but <laughs> look through education, through education. I don't come up on here and pitch y'all on ketones, but once a week for five minutes, Okay. And that's the issue. It's all about not education. That's some horse shit. It's all about recruiting. The only reason she does any of this is for recruiting. She has said multiple times how to make money in MLMs, how she has made her money is recruiting. She can say all day long that they sold over a million dollars in products last month. How many of that came from people on your team or their ghost accounts? Allegedly, they have ghost accounts and not even allegedly because people who are on her team have confirmed that. Aaron B's confirmed that she was on her team. Other people who were below her confirmed that they are encouraged to set up ghost accounts under a different name, under their husband's name, under someone else so that they can order their shit through there and then it counts as a retail sale for them and then for her. It's a scam. It's a facade. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's all about recruiting and B 
being in murky ass bathtub water. Once a week for five minutes. That's it. The rest of the time I'm sitting on here and I'm coaching you and I'm educating you, especially when I'm in a tub in a hoodie. Yeah, that's right. I'm fully dressed in a tub. What are you going to do about it? Okay. <laughs> you should follow me. I'm fun and I'm smart and I'm cute. You can't tell I'm cute. What are you going to do about it? I don't know. Probably make money off of it. Probably make a video. Probably roast you because you're embarrassing. <laughs> I'm funny and I'm smart and I'm cute. You're not funny and you're hardly cute. Tell I'm cute because I have a face mask on, but trust me. I'm a vision. All right. Like I give value. I build trust through education. I sell a product that literally gives you focus and energy. Okay. Um, I'm giving you a free, I don't know, thousand dollar sales training in a bathtub, fully focused, no notes, just talking at you. You can't compete with this brain. So if I told you my product focuses you and gives you energy and you're listening to me right now, you're going, what the? F she is on something. I want focus like that. I want energy like that. Hold, hold the freaking phone. And she says that it helps with fat loss and muscle preservation as well. Well, hello, hello, hello. No, it doesn't. It does not help with fat loss or muscle preservation or any of that other dog doo-doo. It does not. If it helped with fat loss and muscle preservation and she drinks butt chugs and snorts them all day long, she ingests so many ketones, she would not have an ounce of fat on her body. She would be, as she just said, a vision. Perfect. Perfection doesn't exist, but a perfect specimen. A specimen specimen and she's not your body is beautiful your body is your body it is that's it you're alive you're beautiful great but it's a lie <laughs> it is so obnoxious that they say shit like that like that's not how that's not how that works not how ketones work ingesting that is not going to help you it's essentially a pre-workout imagine taking pre-workout multiple times a day not really working out imagine how itchy your face would be <laughs> i could not imagine taking pre-workout and then not working out that's such a waste if it helps with fat loss it's because it's suppressing your appetite that's not healthy why the sweatshirt i don't know man am i supposed to be naked on camera this is an only fans i don't have an only fans channel I don't have an OnlyFans channel, all right? I don't have an OnlyFans channel, <laughs> okay? So this is as close as you're getting. We're wearing hoodies, people, all right? We're wearing hoodies. You build the trust through the education. Building trust can be difficult when you're trying to sell products and services. This is a long-term game. It pays off big time in the long run. Write it down. The information you're giving people has to be valuable. It has to actually make sense. Revolutionary. This is the best training ever. I'm going to teach you how to sell. Like, mmm. You could just fucking Google it. You could learn everything she's saying by reading Google within a second. Like, who does she think she is? The business bitch from The Office? We've been conditioned by society that, that we react badly to salespeople, okay? We learn really fast. I don't think so. I think it's like scammy people. That's what we don't like. You can be a great salesperson. Sales is about creating and maintaining relationships, being a genuine good person, which a lot of times you can like put that on. I know some great salespeople who are kind of shitty humans, but it's about knowing what the person wants, knowing when to sell someone and when you shouldn't sell someone. I can sell almost anyone, but I know that not everyone should be sold. Jesse Lee doesn't know that. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, because we've been, we've been taught, oh, snake oil salesmen, they pull up in the back of the truck, ah, whatever the heck these crazy salesmen people do, they're slimy, they're untrustworthy. That is why it is so important to build a foundation of trust with your prospects through education. You feel me? You dig me? What's going on? TikTok's popping off. A snake oil salesman also, though, has to do with like selling a product that isn't real or isn't like a shitty product, essentially. And, you know, making all these promises and being like, oh, well, this product does this and that and this and that. Also, please don't like put things together and sell things if it's not like regulated. Like there has to be like a, like a checks and balance system in place. You don't know how people's like skin's going to react to stuff. This is just not good. It's interesting how she's like misusing these figures of speech or analogies are words in general because she is she is a snake oil salesman essentially she's selling a product that she makes all these promises for and an opportunity that she exaggerates 
and it's snake oil. 200 people watching live. Wow. All right. That's what I'm talking about. 200 people watching live. Yet you have how many over there? 300,000? 200,000? And you only have 200 people watching you on TikTok? Yikes. Tell me you purchased your followers without telling me you purchased your followers. Also, though, my likes are down lately, which is weird. Real weird on Instagram. But my Instagram story views are up. Also, though, Instagram keeps telling me that, like, I have community guideline violations. And I'm like, the fuck I do? What are you talking about? Instagram's a garbage platform. Let me tell you that. It's going downhill so quickly and it's really upsetting. Live. Wow. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Way to go, TikTok. Don't stop. Don't stop. Look, something I'm doing, I'm building relationships. Did you see how many people? Thank you. I appreciate that. This queen, you seem like you know what's up. Hey, appreciate that. I do. I do. I've educated you guys for so long on how to build a brand and so long on how to sell and so long on how to build a sales team and so long on how to market and so long how to do all of this stuff. People will buy more because they're like, man, I kind of owe her a tip or something like that. <laughs> okay. I feel like I owe her a tip or something. No. No, they won't. All right, so don't just go in for hard pitches. Too many of you are hard pitching people constantly. Hard pitch, hard pitch, hard pitch. There are some things people want hard. <laughs> if you know what I mean, jelly bean. But I'm telling you, when I'm saying educate, I'm saying use your content. I go live as much as I go live for a reason. It builds trust, okay? I write as many comments as I write, or I, I write as many captions as I write to build trust. I create as many TikToks as I create to build trust. I make as many reels as I make to build trust. I post about my life to build trust. Do you understand what's happening? I don't go for hard pitches. I educate, I educate, I inform, I win the relationship. You win the relationship, you win the long game, you win the long game, you get paid for life. Quite frankly, when I look at what, I'm, what I've been selling, I'm 11 years in business. Does I mean, I'm not gonna make any complaints. Way too many people watching, but let me tell you. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Next. 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 Does her bathtub look tiny? Listen, my bathtub's not big, but like her bathtub looks tiny. When she just did that, I don't know. Yeah, smallest bathtub. Maybe it's just the like the way the camera is. Probably is. Does she make anyone else's tummy hurt? I got a tummy ache. Just help people. You just need to help people. You're not helping people. You're scamming them. Let's finish this up, shall we? How often do you get on a, a call from a salesperson and it's like, oh, let me tell you about the brand new features of the iPhone 14. Let me tell you about the blah, 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 blah. Like what? Who's calling you to tell you about the brand new features of the iPhone 14? Who's doing that? Hang up. Just solve the problem. Just solve the problem. That's all they care about. Be different. Focus on helping people. When someone comes to you and they say, I need this product because I, I have, I have, I'm so stressed. I'm going through a divorce. I've got this, I got that, I got these kids. They're telling you all this stuff. Talk to them like a human. Oh my gosh. I can we talk before we talk about the product that you just said you want, can we talk about you? Are you okay? Like you just talked to me, you just walked me through a divorce, a, a miscarriage, uh this, uh that, all this. Can we talk about that? Before we talk about this, you should, you should focus on helping people. That makes you so different than everybody else out there who is out there just talking off, talking off, talking, just bumping up, bumping at the guns. That's all these people are doing. They don't even care. They see one open to sell to you and boom, they're just going to boom, give you, boom, give you a link like crazy. Just talk to people. Just have a conversation with people. Be a good human first. It's going to help again when, when you know who your buyer is, what they need. But this is not that difficult. Okay? And look, you want to sell more? How many of you want to sell more? You want to sell more? This water getting so cold. You want to sell more? Drop the word sell in the comments below. Sell in the comments below. Sell, 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 sell. Do we think she's losing it? I think she might be losing it. Or maybe this is just her. Either way, it's insufferable. So, hey. Every conversation, end it with an action, okay? You want to sell more, end every conversation with an action, okay? Don't just, don't just go out there and, and let them, you know, go off into the abyss. No, 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 no. Don't you do that. Let me cover those masks. Here we go. No. Oh, it's kind of like bubbling. 
Okay. All right. No, you're going to tell people. Thank you for all these shares. Appreciate it. You're going to tell people what they need to do. Like if I'm having a conversation, they ask me a question. I might say, can I send you a quick video? And then I'll say, can you send me a thumbs up when you're done? I'll say something like, would you like me to send you trial pricing and everything with an action? Great. Can I send you to the link in my bio for you to check out? Action, 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 action. You need to order this and this. You need to have this and this and this for the best results. The most successful people order this and this and this. This is what you need to do. The most successful people order this, this, and this. That's a customer. Not a business owner. Exchange with a call to action. Correct. Action, 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 action. I'm just getting so cold. Every single meeting needs to have an action. Okay? And then I will tell you, last thing I'll say, because I'm getting too cold, is if you want to sell more, use good marketing. I've done so many trainings on marketing. Follow me everywhere. I got a podcast, one of the number one podcasts in the world. I've got uh I've got I've got a huge Instagram, huge TikTok, Facebook's crazy, YouTube's getting bigger every day. Come on, all right? All this stuff. Just follow everywhere. Hit follow, 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 follow. First of all, Joe Rogan is quaking because he didn't know that he had been replaced by Jesse Lee Ward as the number one podcast in the world. You're not the number one podcast in the world, Jesse Lee. I hate to tell you this. And one of the only reasons that she was ever with the like business rankings on Apple podcast, the only reason she was ever even ranked within the top 300 of podcasts is because she does like these shout outs at the beginning of it. And she gives people money, like people leaving reviews, five star reviews. If you leave a five star review for her podcast, like enters you into a giveaway where she will like give you a gift card or give you money or something. And if you go back and listen to some of her podcasts and some of her episodes, you can hear that she'll do it. She does like an intro. The audio of her podcast is garbage. Guess why? Because because it is recorded on an iPad. Disgusting. Coming from the person who hasn't even posted a podcast episode for their podcast in literally like f a month. Listen, I'm behind on videos. I need to get ahead. I had to take a break. The struggle. Uh, I've got I've got a huge Instagram, huge TikTok. Facebook's crazy. YouTube's getting bigger every day. Come on, all right? All this stuff. Just follow everywhere. Hit follow, 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 follow. Thank you for hitting follow. All of you haven't followed yet. I, I literally all I do is train. <laughs> okay. Because again, I believe with education. You have to market, like I said, okay? You have to market, like I said, and then you have to actually use campaigns. Right? What are the campaigns? What are something fun people can get behind? One of her hairs, I guess, is like stuck on the mask, but it looks like she has a like four inch long or like six inch long black hair coming out of her chin. And it's hilarious. What is something people are passionate about right now? Right? I trained tonight in the, uh, I, oh, all right, huh? let me address the water again because now there's all these extra people. I put some like bubble stuff in it. It didn't happen. No bubbles happened. It smells really good in here. And turn the water to lavender. Lavender is even brown on the cameras. I don't know why. Okay. So don't worry about my bubbles. Worry about yourself. All right. I'm in the bathtub. Let's go. Let's go. Campaigns. People love them. If you knew that Tubby Time is going to be every Wednesday night, y'all would be subscribing to my channel for some Tubby Time. Okay. I can't promise I'm going to be in a bathtub every night on Wednesday nights. Okay. But I'm doing March Madness campaigns right now to sell more. All right. I'm doing a March Madness campaign. I can't tell you much about it yet because I haven't told our team about it. Hey, whatever happened to their 90 day run? <laughs> 90 day run like all of them just like stopped it mid-march or like oh my god maybe that's why she's losing her shit because this was at the end of march it's may 4th right now also may the force be with you i'm in a 90 day run which is a sales campaign it's very intentional very intentional yes og tubby time tells people every single thing to do every single day step by step by step by step by step by step by step Okay, uh, other campaigns we always have going on. So maybe campaigns, I do uh, giveaways all the time. If you follow me, you see these. I have giveaways for our team. We've given away more Louis Vuitton and Gucci and laptops, MacBooks, I iPads, all kinds of crazy stuff. Campaign, 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 campaign. And I help other people do the same, right? These big campaigns, I market around it. Tonight, like I was saying before the bubble cluster got me, got me bamboozled over here, is it is Women's Month. It's women's month. So if you do not already have campaigns set up for women,
Are you really trying to sell? Come on, man. Are you? Like, I don't really feel like you are. I don't feel like you are. It's Women's Month. The 8th is Women's Day. The 12th is it, uh, Women uh, Moms Who Work From Home Day or something like that. Women Moms in Business Day. Okay? There are so many days specifically for women this month. Because it's Women's Month. Where's your campaign? Put a campaign together. And get people bought in and built in around it. And I promise you, you will sell more. That's pretty icky, especially because multi-level marketing, the industry as a whole, is primarily, you know, consisted of women. That's just icky. I'm holding this up now. This is Tubby Time with Jesse Lee. Okay, so those of you who uh, are are new to the Jesse Lee show, hit the follow button, man. It's always a party over here, and the content is hot, unlike this water. So if this is useful to you, drop a flame comments below i love y'all i appreciate y'all and uh again my name is jesse lee ward you can call me um you can call me boss lee if you would like to and uh y'all are phenomenal people so this will be saved on youtube on facebook and on instagram and i'm sure i will rip the audio and turn it into a podcast because i forgot to record it so could you imagine listening to the echoey sloshing of the water on that podcast oh my god that is the worst thankfully she saved this on youtube so i could uh save it but that is just some of the laziest training like she acts like it's just so revolutionary and that's the aspect of it that really just kills me and people are just so fascinated by her and so brainwashed by her that they just bow down to her and it's so unfortunate because she ain't it and it's really frustrating the way that she treats people the way that she is in my opinion a cult leader it's very frustrating. Please see people for what they are. Please take off your rose-colored glasses. Please see the red flags as flags, not lessons or blessings. At least she doesn't like turn everything into Jesus like the Monet girls do. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This was excruciating. I have a tummy ache now. <laughs> Great. And I'm not even joking. It's I mean, I've been up since like 6 a.m. anyways, but it's only at 1031 a.m. And I have to go lay down now. Because this was insufferable, exhausting, and I have a good amount of anxiety now from watching her. So, gross. And I'm probably going to go throw up. So, like, subscribe, comment. Remember how valuable you are. You are amazing. You are so, so beautiful. You might not always feel like it, but you are. Stay spicy. Stay assertive. Don't be a dick. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.